Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He has been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me, you sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the Knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights. And that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. Thank you so much. Ah, 
I did pretty well. All that hard work's paid off. I'm not setting a very good example. Engaging in such idle chatter. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste? You must try harder from now on. Studying here so I could be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top tier mercenary professor? I do. Though it's about so much more than being rich, it's about honor. Come to think of it, here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Spoken like a true hard worker. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Lord Lonato must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Impressive. Catherine, hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I'd bet.
whatever you want. Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. Too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Next month is when a very important ceremony will be taking place at the monastery. Pilgrims from all corners of Fodlan have already started to gather in anticipation. I pray that you are able to nip this trouble in the bud as soon as possible. I desired fresh air. Hm. I have a favor to ask. What? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? If the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. 
If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Right. Good deal. Hey, Professor. How's it going? Making lots of coin? I'd love to catch up, but I'm super busy right now. Working. For money. <laughs> you understand. Okay. Yep. What do you require? Do you want to hire this battalion? You can rely on us. Thank you. At the Battalion Guild, you can meet battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Saros. We're allowed to hire those folks too, so be sure to visit the Guild later to check it out. Naturally, battalions will lose endurance as they fight. You can replenish battalion endurance by visiting the Battalion Guild in the market. What do you require? Farewell. Welcome. This one? Thank you. Please come again. What do you require? Do you want to hire this? Leave it all to us. Do you want to hire this? Great to meet you. Do you want to hire this battalion? Do you want to hire... Nice to meet you. To hire the let's give it all we've got farewell What do you require? Do you want to hire this battalion? Do you want to hire? We'll do everything we can. Farewell. Professor. 
Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, that means we'll be passing through Magdrid Way. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Not that we'll have time for a sightseeing, anyway. What? Best be on your guard. Let's see. After Fargus lost its king, there were many rebellions. It is likely that Lord Lenato's provocations are related. How frustrating that I am too young to take the throne. Rendered powerless by age. If the throne is vacant much longer, the kingdom will fall to ruin. Noble's duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. Abuse of that kind is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? Precisely why true nobility is well respected. Hmm. invited me to train with her. How much do you think I should train before I'm ready to train with someone that strong? Right, right. First that bandit business, and now a noble rebellion? Are we ever gonna do anything but find and subdue people? Well, if we're just going to tie up loose ends, at least it'll be pretty safe. I don't mind stretching my legs for this one. And if Catherine's going too, there's a good chance we'll get a look at her relic in action. Can I ask you a favor? have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? If you do see anyone getting too close with flame, please inform me of it at once. 
I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three-second rule. Ugh. Ah, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Absolutely! I knew you'd see things my way. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. That's my mentioning it to you. Good luck with him. What about... Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Lanato served the king of Fargus's older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. He already had status and prestige. So, why raise a rebellion? Eh, I guess it's none of my business. the Knights of Saros? Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? I've heard whispers about Lord Lonato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor. You were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. I have a favor to ask of you. To be honest, I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. At a loss for what to do. Thankfully, a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she's Sedith's little sister. Here's the story. We are truly blessed with how fertile the monastery grounds are. Every day, there's something new to harvest. Obviously, but not one for the kingdom, for the church. I mean, Fargus doesn't even have a king at present. There's something unsettling about this army. You had better ensure we're fully prepared.
Past here is the holy mausoleum where the saints of the Church of Sarah slumber. Sorry, but only a select few members of the church are allowed entry. It's open to the public on only one day of the year for the goddess's rite of rebirth. Maybe Lord Lonato. He used to stay at the monastery rather frequently. He was such a pious man, a true believer. Such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. Really? What's going to happen to Lenato? If he's killed, I... I don't know how I'll live with that. Yes. Thank you so much for your help. Professor. Professor. Professor, I heard that you may battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, I think it was. I have a request. There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art, but I won't pretend to be an expert. Of course. 
Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself, meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. Well... B, thanks for your help. Well, of and if you found it, Teach, I've been looking everywhere. Whew, thanks a million. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. Good. How did you know it was mine? I'm sorry. That just now. I can't believe I left this behind. Well, thank you so much for retrieving it. Delicious food really takes my worries away. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that?
Me, 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 me. <clears throat> Something appears to be wrong with my throat. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? Teach me magic. Is now good? Why do I have to? Why? Because you're way better at it than me, silly. Is that so? I thought you were something of an honor student at the School of Sorcery. Well, sure, but I wouldn't say I've got any kind of natural talent for it. I'm gonna have to try very hard to become as good of a mage as you are. What is that supposed to mean? Are you implying that I don't work hard too? If you think my skills are inherent, you are sorely mistaken. No, I wasn't saying that at all. Everyone knows how hard you work. I just meant that if I want to be as good as you, I'll have to work really incredibly hard. Hmm. And what is it you want to learn about? Oh, so you'll teach me? Thank you so much! Um, actually... Oh, I get it now. I never thought about it that way before. Look at how quickly you're picking this up. You're clearly very skilled already. Don't be silly. You're just that good of a teacher. Your way of looking at the world is so fundamentally different from mine. Do you insist on taking the conversation in that direction? Oh no, I'm sorry. I wasn't doing that. Well, there I go saying the wrong thing again. It's fine. Let's just drop it. A bit more self-confidence would go a long way for you, Annette. Huh? That's all I've got for you today. I need to get going now. Lots to do. Oh, I'm so sorry to take up your time. Thanks again for teaching me. It was easy, thanks to you. <laughs> I could get used to this. <laughs> yeah, I've got this down. Looks like I got it right. Better than before. You really think I'm that great? Ha! <laughs> 
Looks like I got it right. It's... I guess I'm still growing. Hey, Professor, I got a question. You know, I think you're right. Teach, I see you're as stony-faced as usual. Hmm, I can't tell if you're feeling resigned or if you're just lost in thought. Or maybe you simply don't care about anything that's going on. Oh, sorry. I really didn't mean to be rude. I just find you fascinating. Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Can you spare some time? That's just the sort of attitude I'd expect from a new teacher. Speaking of, before you came here, you were a mercenary, right? Always getting your hands dirty on the battlefield and whatnot. It's a bit unusual that you suddenly decided to become a teacher one day. In any case, I've been meaning to ask, did your father teach you how to fight? I figured your father used to lead the knights, didn't he? And I hear he was a legendary mercenary as well. It must have been hard on your mother when you followed in your father's footsteps and became a mercenary too. I see. I suppose you grew up moving from battlefield to battlefield with your father then. You know, for someone who's right around the same age as me, you certainly have an unusual amount of composure. I guess it's only natural that you'd be different from young nobles who grew up in the lap of luxury. <laughs> well, even so, I am heir to House Regan, the leading family of the Alliance. But I didn't exactly grow up in luxury like most people of noble blood. Hey, maybe that's why you and I get along so well. Folks like us should stick together. As house leader, I'll do all I can to help you out. We can start by making time for more little chats like this. Dear Goddess, I ask for guidance. Professor, I suppose you came by to pray too? I see. Well, that's why I'm here. Oh, um, nothing specific. I only call upon the goddess to give thanks, or perhaps to ask for protection. Anyhow, I should be on my way. Um, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. I'm not very good at talking to people. 
The truth is, I didn't interact with people too often before I came here. Oh, um, no particular reason. I'm simply not very good at it. That's just how I am. Ah, uh, um, thank you. I'm sorry. You shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going now. Goodbye, Professor. Thank you. Professor, I understand that you were looking to speak with me. Perhaps you would like some insight on how to write your next lecture? While I do have a great many ideas, it would be inappropriate to... Oh, am I mistaken? If that's the case, then what can I do for you? The ladies have complained? To you? About me? <laughs> Preposterous. <laughs> there must be some mistake. I am the heir of the noble house Gloucester. It is bred in me to treat all people with respect. Rest assured, you will not find anyone more upstanding than yours truly. Perhaps the issue is that the splendor of my noble presence is driving the ladies to distraction. If that is the crime, I do confess. I hope I've not troubled the ladies' hearts unduly. Outrageous! That's absurd! Who would dare to allege such slander? Of all the... <laughs> well, I suppose I have offered several of them the honor of dining with me. It is impossible to tell if even the most well-bred young lady is a suitable companion for me, merely by the sight of her. So, in order for us to get to know each other properly, it is appropriate that we dine together. Thus far, they have all declined, oddly enough. For some reason, they seem to be exercising some form of restraint when speaking with me. I would never insist, of course. But I will admit I have, on occasion, after a day's pause, issued repeat invitations in the fashion and style of a gentleman what ridiculous dinner invitations from me a problem the very idea i am a perfect gentleman the son of a noble line i've a wit like a rapier and it takes but a glance to see that i'm gorgeous no i cannot believe such a thing are you sure this isn't the result of some sort of scheme it cannot be otherwise. Someone has clearly devised a conspiracy against me. Someone who envies my position, who seeks to soil my sterling reputation with foul rumors. How crude. Please, Professor, it is beneath you to fall victim to such petty and obscene tactics. I implore you to take greater care in the future. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a great deal of work to do. Farewell. Marianne, I hear you are quite just pl please do. That wasn't so bad. Now I see the heart of it. It's fun when you know what you're doing. I think it's coming along. Thank you. 
a new path to tread. Did you hear? There's news of the king spilling. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? The glory of progress. I simply must thank you, Professor. the church yours If you do see... This is delicious! My absolute favorite! Ah, oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. Professor, this, there's some... Inspirational. No.
that was... Keep trying my best. I can't believe I got it right. No, I just got lucky. That was pretty good, huh? Better than before. did a fine job. It's starting to make sense. Huh, I'm actually pretty good at this. I will master this. Thank you. 
As a member of the church. I still have much to learn. I can't believe it. Did you hear? The kingdom spilling the blood of it. Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. Singing's okay, but I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite.
Professor, your clothes... If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the... I hate when my clothes... a lot from this. That was easy, thanks to you. <laughs> I could get used to this. I see. It's all making sense now. Only that was adequate. That was now I see the heart of it. I gotta keep working hard. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm getting it! Easier than I thought! Don't stop! Keep it coming! Easier than I thought! I think I got the hang of it! Oh yeah! Getting the hang of it! I think... I think... Yeah! Who's the best? I'm the best. How's this gonna help? <laughs> I'm glad I put in some effort. For once.
Professor. Do you have a moment? Well, I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? Great, thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Yay, I finally get it. You really are a great teacher. No way, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I just love learning new things. That's why I came to the Officer's Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and, well, all kinds of stuff. I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. Speaking of, I'd better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. That's just not possible. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. I have to have something to do. Like, on my days off, I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first, or I just can't relax. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm so glad you agree. You'd be surprised how rare it is to find people like us. Not to mention... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I was supposed to be on cooking duty today. Oh, I completely forgot. Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help. Put this stupid barrel here! We'd better get to work. I'm ready. Well, we did it. Better than before. It's fun when you know what you're doing. I got a grasp on this. It's starting to make sense.
This looks delicious. Let's eat. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that?
That looks appetizing. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Oh no, this isn't right. Now what am I supposed to do? What's the matter, Mercedes? made this food much sweeter than I wanted. Let me taste it. Hmm, yeah, a little sweet. What if we try adding a few spices? Huh? This is delicious! You're an amazing cook, Ash! My dad used to own a restaurant. I helped out a lot around the kitchen, even as a little kid. Wow, that's a lot of responsibility to take on at an early age. No wonder you always work so hard. I might learn something if I watch you cook. Well, <laughs> no promises. I just have a little bit of experience, that's all. But look at you, you're great at baking cakes. It's true that I'm quite good at baking, but I'm not the best when it comes to seasoning. Maybe it's because I don't like spicy food? It's tough to make food taste good when you don't enjoy it. I just had an idea. If the reason I can't cook spicy food is because I don't like it, then all I have to do is eat some spicy food. If I learn to like it, then I'll be better at making it, right? I don't know, maybe. What makes you say that? No, 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 none of that matters. Once I've made a decision, I have to go with it. I'll make something spicy right away. Oh, this won't end well. If I leave her to it, she'll make an even bigger mess. Hey, Ash. Which seasonings should I use? These ones? Um, uh, hold on, Mercedes. Let me show you. That one goes best with meat, but for stir-fry, what you really want is this. <sighs> I guess taking them all up in one go is a bad idea. Annette? Are you okay with all those boxes? Linhard! Hi! I'm so glad you're here. I don't know if I'll be able to handle all these. I thought I may as well get it over with, so I decided to carry them all at once. Big mistake. Smart thinking. Do it all at once. That's what they say, right? Work smart, not hard. I think you've got it from here, so I'm off to take a nap. Good luck. But maybe you could help. Nope. Gone. <laughs> It's fine. It is fine. Just a little further to my quarters. I've got this. I'll just... Just... Ah! Huh? They didn't fall. That was almost pretty bad. Uh, Linhart! I thought you had an important nap to get to. I'd call it insomnia, but I suppose it was really just a guilty conscience. I came to see if you needed help. And, sure enough, here you are, about to tip all the boxes on the floor. Thanks. Though it may have been best if you had just chipped in from the start. Huh? But it was your job. Why would I step in? You clearly had things handled. Then why help me at all? If the boxes had fallen just now, everyone would have had to help tidy them up anyway. If anything broke, more boxes would need to be carried. And if all of that came to pass, then there'd be noise and more noise and no chance of my taking a nap. Huh. But if you had helped me from the start, there would have been no danger of anything being dropped at all. Correct. But there was no danger yet, and so there was no need for my help. So I left you to it. Try carrying one box at a time instead of straining to do it all at once. Work smart, not hard, as they say. All right, well, I think you've got it from here, so I'm off. 
Good luck. <laughs> After all that, he's not gonna help me. <sighs> it's peaceful here. Flowers are so calming. Just looking at these, it's like all the terrible parts of the day just disappear. If only people could be more like flowers. <sighs> What's Burn doing? She looks like there's something wrong. All these nobles are just terrifying. And the commoners? Just look at Dorothea. So pretty, popular, dazzling. There's no way someone like me could ever be close with someone like that. Burn, are you okay? <laughs> Dorothea! Did you hear all that? Just the part about you wishing you could get along with someone. So, Burn, who have you got a crush on? Seriously now, you have to tell me. Who are they? Do I know them? <sighs> I'm so excited for you, Burn! Um, no. I was actually thinking about being friends with you. Me? I thought we already were friends. That's... Not what I mean. Oh, I'm such a coward. I thought it would be great if we could be closer. But old memories just get in the way for me. Burn, whatever happened in the past, you know you have my full support. I'm here for you. I thought we'd already been friends for a long time now. Please, just forget it. We'll never be close friends. Father would just... He would just... Wait, I... Father? What did she mean by that? Felix, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Time for our tactics lecture. You'll be there, won't you? Those things are such a waste of time. Nonsense. You're going to be there. Must I? Why is this such a chore? You went last time. Though you did all you could to disrupt things, as I recall. Brazenly rambling on about clear-cutting a nearby forest to secure a marching route. And attacking an enemy base, stealing their horses. You were incredibly disruptive, and even rude. I was offering my honest opinion. Then, you left before we were finished. What do you suppose happened after that? I have no idea. Well, the conversation got quite lively. We all began breaking down the viability of your somewhat maniacal plan. And apparently, similar tactics have been used to turn the tides of historic battles. That may be an exaggeration. Successful armies must be able to handle unexpected situations. That starts with weapon mastery and creative tactics. If you didn't have so much battlefield experience, you wouldn't be capable of such unique strategies. Which is why we need people like you. People who think creatively to lead the army. Now you're just massaging my ego. When have you ever minded? We need you there. Just come on. Mm-hmm. It really is an honor to accompany Catherine, wielder of Thunderbrand. I hear you're intimidating enough to silence the howling winds. You mean you don't know? 
My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. Why would Lord Lonato incite such a reckless rebellion? He had to have known he had no chance of winning. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. You must be joking. Where have you been traveling that news of it didn't reach you? It happened about four years ago. The king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. And that about covers it, right? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them, and so he was handed over to the church for execution. King Lambert was attempting a major political reform. Needless to say, he had many enemies. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They used the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! Is that the one? Thanks a bunch! Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks a bunch! Is that the one? Thanks a bunch! Is that the one? Thanks a bunch! Come back soon! With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! The conditions are the same for both sides, but we're at a disadvantage for not knowing the terrain. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Stay focused. to me. Ready and willing. Two. 
me? Ready anytime. Thanks for that. I'll give it my all. I got this. Let's get to it. I stand ready. Who, me? <laughs> Sorry. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. Why, Lenato? Why did you drag so many others into this? while you try to kill our lord?
I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lanato.
Sorry. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros! The fog is cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. I stand ready. The nobles start the war, but it's the commoners who spill their blood first. Leave it to me. Thanks. Ready and willing. Stay focused. Ready any time. I'll give it my all. Go! 
good to go. Nobles must be strong. Much appreciated. Thank you. 
Hey, hey. I got this. Ha. Sorry. That helps.
Roger that. I think now is good. That helps. to kill you no other you have lost all sense of justice you want to fight me so be it I'll send you to meet your goddess appreciated so nice of you Deceived by that witch, I will show you the truth. Stand down, Ash. I must destroy these evildoers by any means necessary. 
Please surrender, Lenato. Whatever your reasons for doing this, we can still talk it out. Rhea is an infidel who has deceived the people and desecrated the goddess. We have virtue and the goddess herself on our side. Even if all that's true, dragging the townsfolk into it like this isn't right. Enough. If that is how you feel, prepare yourself. I'm putting an end to this. Mastery at last. I stand ready. I stand ready. Mastery. Leave it to me. Thank you. Let's get to it. Ready and willing. Lenato, I... I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. Nice work, Teach. Still, that fight left a foul taste in my mouth. That aside, did you see how Catherine fought? Agreed. I thought the power of the hero's relics must be exaggerated, but I was clearly wrong. Makes you wonder about that legend. Oh, it's nothing. Just the usual fanciful nonsense. An ancient relic that once cut a mountain in half with a single swing. That's what they say, anyway. But as amazing as Thunderbrand is, I don't think it fits that description. Apparently, relics can harness tremendous power for those with a compatible crest. Though, you can technically use one so long as you have any crest at all. Yeah, I don't know. Long story short, I'd like to try cutting a mountain in half someday. 
Ooh, are you talking about relics? You'll be able to use one soon, Claude. I just know it. After all, you've already been selected as the next head of House Regan. Easy there, Hilda. I don't know how apt soon is. My grandfather is still unbearably healthy. Oh, is this news to you, Teach? Yours truly was recently recognized as a legitimate child of House Regan. They possess one of the hero's relics, too, though I've yet to see it. I was raised by my father. House Regan is on my mother's side of the family. When I learned that my mother was the daughter of an Alliance noble, I was so surprised I thought the whole world was pulling a fast one on me for a week. So that means your mother is Duke Regan's daughter, right? Where is she now? I can't say. My mother is currently living in a different world than the one she grew up in and has no desire to return home. Um, okay. You sure have a lot of secrets, don't you? I'm just keeping a promise to my parents. Make of that whatever you will. In exchange for my so-called secrecy, I'm free to do as I please. Which is why I decided to see what the other side of my family was like. That's how I found out about this strange crest I bear. Professor. Claude. It sounds like the troops will be withdrawing soon. We should return as well. We won. We should be celebrating. Instead, we're heading back with heavy hearts. Whoa there, what's the matter? You look as sad as a kitten without any yarn. If we hadn't done what we did, the rebel army would have followed this road all the way to the monastery. And they would have crushed all the little villages along the way. We stopped that from happening. You should be proud. Sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect. But the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. There is no need for modesty. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported. The secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students. But the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. <laughs> 